you know, uh, uh, oftentimes people will, 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 they don't understand addiction, always ask the question, well, why would they, why would they do that? Why would they start using cocaine or abusing alcohol or, you know, whatever other substance? You know, but, but when we look at it from sort of the restoration framework, it really does make sense that, you know, part of what humans, all humans, are trying to do is, is figure out how do we get through life and regulate ourselves and, and feel good. And for some of us, we grow up in families where we learn sort of these healthy ways of dealing with things. Um, but, in, but in other cases, we, we don't. And so the, the process that occurs with a person struggling with an addiction is they go through, they experience pain in life, they don't have the sort of the healthier coping skills to regulate, and they stumble into oftentimes, they're not oftentimes seeking it out, they stumble into that first drink at a high school party, um, the cocaine that their buddy offers them, you know, on a Saturday night, you know, the weed that's being passed out at the beach party. And in their dysregulated state, the substance is introduced and the pain dissipates. And the brain remembers that. And the dopamine is released and the pleasure comes in. And, and the person is like, oh, wow, that felt good. I no longer feel pain. And so the process, one of the, I think the, mis the misconceptions is, is that, you know, people are sort of out there, you know, really looking to, to ruin their lives, and yet oftentimes it starts with something as simple as that. In addiction treatment, there is nothing more important than having the family learning the pain and peace cycle as well. Um, their reactions oftentimes are very similar to the person struggling with the addiction's reaction and oftentimes play into a person's pain cycle. So it's helping the whole system learn how to respond differently and live more in that peace cycle. Mm -hmm.